that they knew how to sew. And one of the things that they had to learn how to sew was a, a moss bag. So that was one of the things that you had to learn how to do when you were when you were a young lady, when you became a, <laughs> a young lady through the, the protocols of the 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 um that teaching. Um when you become a young lady, they taught you the, the old ladies would get together and they would teach you how to sew what your role was as a woman and as a mother, a caregiver. <laughs> Excuse me. I smoke for too many years and I get kind of uh, uh, winded real quick because of, uh, oh, I smoked too many years. So it's over 10 years now that I quit, but I still feel that effect. So it's not a good thing to do is smoke, <laughs> smoke cigarettes. So yeah, anyway, back to um, the teaching the women's, uh, they, uh, that that uh, umbilical cord, that part of that, that teaching of the umbilical cord, when they, when the baby was first born, they would, uh, they would give that little, that, that cord to, uh, to the grandmothers. It would be given to an, an old lady after after it fell off. They would they would give it to an old lady, and that would uh, that would determine like that that grandmother would would pray. She would either go put it in a bush and give it back to Mother Earth, so that child would be connected to Mother Earth, or they would uh, depending on what you wanted your child to excel in. And a lot of times too, that they would they would put that. That uh, that umbilical cord, that kitsi, we call it kitsi in, in our language. I don't know how they say it in uh, Anishinaabe, but that's how we say it in Cree. Your kitsi, they would put that in. Um, and my Gokum, I know she put hours in her sewing in her beads. Tissue. <laughs> and, and yeah, she put it in. She put it in uh, her beads, and when we were growing up, she would ask when I be at her house. She would uh, she would ask me, "What are you looking for, Kitsy?" Because I'd be digging in her hands of beads. Eh? <laughs> so, and, and then one time, I I asked, I I opened that can of uh, beads, and they went flying all over. This was uh, probably about five years old, six years old, and that was my first lesson on 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 uh, beading. She made me pick up all those beads, and they were all mixed up, and I had to string them. I, they were all mixed beads, so when she she gave me a needle and thread, I had them all in a bowl, and I had to sort out all those beads. <laughs> so, but that was uh, that was what she would do for all of um, me and my sisters. We all she put our belly buttons in uh, in her beading, her her beading, her beadwork. Is that <laughs> why you are a master artist to this day? <laughs> It's because of my coco. I know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Take my kid's belly button and put them in your house, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll <laughs> take them. <laughs> when I go home, I come back with about one or two. <laughs> my brothers or my nephews, they said, I saved you something, they say. <laughs> I said, I, I, I don't realize what it is. They, they come and give me a little belly button, so. I've got a couple of belly buttons here. <laughs> but the other thing they used to, where they would put those belly buttons was in a, uh, an anthill. They would they would bury it in an anthill. And that would, uh, because ants are really, they're hard workers and they're very communal. So that would be something like, it would be a blessing when you would, you would put that belly button, you would take care of it. And and different tribes they would put them in those effigies. I think that's what they're called. They would make like an amulet, and they would put that that uh, that belly button in there, and they would wear it, put it in that baby's moss bag, sew it on that moss bag, or they'd have it hanging. <laughs> but that's one of the other things that they they used to do, eh? And uh, uh, that belly button. Um, was it uh, it had a lot of the things that we did a long time ago our ancestors they had such a significant meaning and it had a lot of blessings to to what 
you know, like from childbirth to, to, you know, like a, a mother <laughs> when she's pregnant, eh? And, and when that mother's pregnant, it's like the baby's, the baby's in the, in the, in the womb. And when that baby's born, like a lot of, uh, our people, they used to, they wrap that baby because that's a transition from them, from <laughs> their, uh, from them being in the mother's womb to going into a moss bag because they're still, they're still wrapped up and they're really comfortable. As soon as you wrap a baby, you notice that they'll, they'll stop crying. <laughs> and even the way that they were, they were wrapped up too was, uh, <laughs> if it was a male or a female, the, the males, they were, they were, they were kind of like this, say, eh? they wrapped themselves to, to, to protect themselves, eh? And then the little girl that was, was more, <clears throat> kind of more straight, their hands would be more protecting their, like holding their part, their, their, uh, uh, by their belly button. That's where they would, you would wrap their hands. And, and when you first uh, would wrap that baby, you would kind of, uh, uh, put their scrunch up their legs so it was easier for them to poop or you know like <coughs> it would be easier on them instead of just kind of uh, kind of putting them just flat like laying them flat and then wrapping them <coughs> so that was how how we were taught how to wrap a baby too and, and some of the, the the moss bags they used to have like a little uh a little uh veil over on top of it they used to call it a konahon a konahon that's what they would call it and they would just they just covered a baby with you know when you're going outside and it just kind of protect them from the from the elements <laughs> and they sleep a lot better like the babies sleep a lot better i know that uh <laughs> my family we had i had to laugh at my one nephew who was almost uh two years old, three years old, he was still in the moss bag and he, that's the only way he would sleep. And my sister made him, a, a, she bought some material that had dinosaurs on it. <laughs> she put dinosaurs on that moss bag. So, cause he was getting to be such an old man. Eh? We called, oh, he's such an old man, still needs his moss bag. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, and uh, when we used to, uh, my mom, and my aunties are when we were outside or in a teepee or or in the house, they always had a swing. They would make a swing. They would have a big, a thick leather piece and they would find a, a part of the, the the frame, I guess. I don't know what you call it, but they would find that where you would you tie a, a leather piece and you'd hammer it in there and then on the other side too, on the other wall, and you'd put a rope on there. To make a swing so you could swing your baby and that uh that too would uh would uh was part of that transition of that child that baby a eh, being in a moss bag and then being on that swing because that swing it just it just like it rocks them they still feel like they're they're in the mother's womb so that was <laughs> that was one of the things that uh that uh, uh not too many people do that still um, but I know, I know that, uh, my family, I, I always see, uh, see, uh, when there's little babies around, like they, when I go visiting that they do have, uh, their babies in moss bags and, and it's, it, it takes time and it gives them, they say that those babies are really strong. They're really, really strong when you, when you put them in that moss bag for, even if it's less like a year or a few months. It really makes a difference, and and uh, them having a bonnet on their head too, like even when they're they were. I remember we used to get told to uh, make sure you have a bonnet on that baby's head because it doesn't take much for a baby to get uh, like an ear infection. So so that's what we were we were always told to do: make sure that baby has something on on his on on their head. Eh? So that's. Uh, one of the things, and they're, um, they're much more healthier when you, when you put them in, like even a thick and uh, that, that's more out this way and down south, that, uh, that way of wrapping the baby. But, uh, um, but a lot of them, um, you can, um, 
it's and when they used to they used to decorate i'll show you one of the moss bags this i haven't finished it it was my son's i never got to finish it to, to put the rope on there but it was kind of like a family crest like my moss bag was this pattern my sister had taken it off my moss bag and it's kind of like a, a family crest, like all of us. She made everybody's moss bag in this style of, uh, of beadwork. And my moss bag was kind of a, it was a velvet, kind of a, a real deep purple. It kind of looked black, but it was a really deep color. So this is how my, my bookum had my moss bag. I didn't, I didn't put the, the leather on this one. This was for my son. He's 21 now. <laughs> I never finished it, but I still have it for when, whenever, whenever he uh, he has a, a little family. I just I have it ready for him. But this is this is him. This was uh, this moss bag had gotten passed around. I mean, if you can see it. It's my son Dylan. He was only six pounds when he was born. Six one. He was just little, so I had to fold. We have to fold it in right in here on top here. I fold it in probably about two, three inches. That moss bag is really, it's quite big. But as they are growing too, like you just fold it in. We used to do that in like, um, you just fold that moss bag in like this, depending on how big they were, eh? You could just fold it in as they're growing. You just, you just move it up. Like, like something like that, eh? You just keep folding it, and then just fold it back as you as the baby the baby grows, eh? You do that. So that was uh, that's uh, I I have yet to finish it. I was waiting to get some some uh, home hand hide. Now that I have some, I I'll be able to maybe I'll be able to do it during this time. I cut some some uh, strips for for. Um, for the wrapping, there's so many different ways of um, of uh, making a moss bag. You can use cloth, and I remember we used to always use my cookum and my family used to use velvet, uh, real nice velvet. And and she, my cookum used to transfer that that pattern, like it was all beaded on one side, and then she would put weight. She turned it around and she put weight on there and would transfer onto that velvet because it's uh, it's got a pile on it. And when you crush it down, it leaves that it left that uh, that imprint of the other side of that, that pattern onto the moss bag. So it was really nice to have. And then they would put uh, sometimes you'd see some that are very decorative with with uh, hide right on the sides here. So it it, it just from different territories, you you notice that um, you know where they, they came from because some of them would be uh, geometrical designs or their their clan or or different even the colors the colors were very significant and even the beadwork on that moss bags. So, and, but today it's a little more people are a little more lenient and 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 their uh, beadwork is. It's so phenomenal, like the, the beadwork that that I see some of you ladies there, um, that that you produce is very beautiful. And whatever you decorate on there, it's it's just it's for that for that baby. It's it it means a lot to that you know that little spirit of that baby when you when you um, when you wrap that baby up in that moss bag and you've got it all decorative. And, and uh, I think I uh, in your uh, in your kits, you should. We we just about sewed it all together for you. We got carried away. So in your kits, you're gonna have a um, you're gonna have a cushion. We we sewed that cushion. I I like using that uh, that quilted fabric. It's uh, double double sided, but we just used uh, used that and we just surged the edging on them. Um, and I hope that you all have sewing machines and some of the tools that you're going to need, I'll let you, uh, you're going to need a ruler. And that's going to be for when you're, you're measuring your, the holes after you're, you're right in here, eh? you're going to measure, you're going to measure those. I should have put a little bit of a pattern in there, but we'll go through it together. And I have a, a hat in there. I didn't put any ribbons. 
or anything in there, but you're more than welcome to do that if you if you want to. But I always iron everything that when I'm when I'm uh, sewing. So if it's a little bit crinkled or you know you got any kind of uh, crinkles in your in your uh, in your kit there, you you can uh, iron it out. Um, and on your moss bags here. Um, and I, I've got one that I started. So this is the, it's kind of, uh, I didn't beat it, but it's just uh, material that I cut out and put some ribbons on there. So I use those and then your liners, I search those, there's a, there's a, it's double, there might be green, lime green, or you'll have a, a velvet. I like using the velvet. It's, uh, it's breathable when you're when you're wrapping your baby you want to use like, like either velvet not velvet flannel or cotton 100 percent cotton or canvas for a liner because it, it's breathable eh? you want your baby to, to the material is breathable and you don't want to you don't want to uh, uh, make your baby really hot if you're going to use uh, you got to really be careful what kind of material you use Anyway, for, for moss bags. So, um, with your material, like, um, that would be the first thing that you're going to sew together is these two pieces. And, and the pieces that you're going to sew, the part you're going to sew is the curved part. So you want your, your, your printed or your, your, um, your velvet to be in, inside. And you're going to, you're going to sew your your uh, you're gonna sew from here or from this bottom part here you're gonna sew from here about a half an inch or a quarter inch i always go by inches i don't have a um, metric ruler i don't usually have any metric rulers but just a little bit you're gonna go probably about about a quarter of an inch no about an Three eighths of an inch. You're gonna sew. You're gonna sew that piece together. You backstitch it. I don't know if you uh, know what I mean by backstitching on your. You're gonna reverse. You're gonna reverse, and then uh, um, and then you'll you'll start your stitching where it's curved. That's where you're gonna sew. You're gonna you're gonna sew on that curved part all the way down to the other end and then once that's done you're going to open it up and you're going to iron that you're going to i hope you have irons also you're going to iron open that up iron it and on the curve you might have to if it uh, if it's kind of hard for you to uh if it doesn't kind of open up you can either give it a little trim just a little trim on the edges where it, especially where it's curved you want to kind of trim it i'll show you how it looks on this one here oh, i guess i didn't trim it but you can I, i'll do it right now oh that's so that it'll curve It'll it'll give it you can curve it a little bit. So you'll make little T's like that. I don't know if you can see it. So that's what you'll do. Yeah, so you'll do a couple of them where it, especially where it's curved so it'll lay flat when you iron it. So Brenda? Mm -hmm. when, when you sew, are you sewing all four of those? things together those yeah yeah the inside and then the outside yeah you're gonna sew you're gonna sew the ones that have the double like the the one that has the flannel on one side and the one that has kind of a green a lime green uh, uh liner i just wanted to, to i usually do that because it's uh, it gives it stability okay yeah so your liner is gonna be inside when you sew this part will be will face uh, 
and put them face facing uh, together. So this is the part that you're gonna sew. So you're sewing all four of them together? Yeah, you're gonna sew all four of them together. So like what even goes these? on the outside? Uh, not, not, not your, uh, not your, your quarter right. You don't bother with that one yet. You're going to sew oh. this, you're going to sew this one first. See the one that has like a, um, a velvet on one side and it has kind of a green, uh, uh, lime green print. I yeah. think like, yeah. that will be, so there's only two pants. Yeah. Those two, you're going to put those two together. Okay. Yeah, and if you have is this, pins, yeah, this is what have, I have. Okay, wait. Let me <laughs> okay, it's like a corduroy. No, not that one. You're gonna use the one that has. Is it corduroy two on both sides? Okay, the one yep. that has the flannel is really soft. You want that facing in inside? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, you want those okay. two placing inside first because you're gonna sew. You're gonna sew those two. Pieces. So we don't bother with this right now. The no corduroy. You don't bother, yeah, you don't bo bother with that right now. You're gonna sew this oh. part. Yeah, that's your liner. Your liner and your um, your stabilizer. So you said um. So this is like a soft cotton. Yeah. And then yeah. I have more rougher. So the rougher on the inside when I sew, so it's softer on the inside. Yeah, you'll put those two together like this. And and that that uh, lime green kind of will be on yeah. the outside. Because when you sew, this will be, it'll be visible. It'll be like this when you sew it. Oh, I see, I get you now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the, the, yeah, like that. Yeah, so it's soft when you fold it yeah. in the right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, so when you open it up, this will be, your flannel will be what's uh, showing when you, uh, that'll be the liner of the moss bag. And it's just a straight stitch? Uh, yeah, it's just a straight stitch. Okay. So what you're saying is the care, the, the flannel part is going to be on the inside. Yeah, it'll look kind of like okay. this. this. This is so okay. Okay. So when you open it up, it'll look like that. And I'm doing it like the width of my foot on my. Um, is is that enough on my sewing machine? Yeah, the width. Like of you know the foot. the foot on. Uh, yeah, you could go like um, on your sewing machine. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, you'll know. have the center probably like, let me see. That looks about right. There's yeah, about 15. I think it's five eighths. You want to see that five eighths and that's, that's where you're going to have the edge of your, your material. And you'll sew from either from this end where it's curved or this end over here. Up from up here going all the way up to over to the other end. And then once it's sewn, it'll kind of curve in inward. See on that side. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Let me just get my sewing machine here. Mm. I don't know what happened to my helper? I was gonna get her to sew. Oh, it is, but that's okay. All right. And make sure you backstitch because you don't want it to uh, to come undone on you. So.
Okay. See, that's what it'll look like. So I sewed the outside. Right to the end over here. So it's open like this. Okay, I have a question. Um, I, is it on this pretty um, fabric? And I also have one the same shape. It's a black fabric. Which no, one? not that one. You're not gonna use uh, the one that has the, the the zigzag print. Those two pieces. You're mm -hmm. gonna you're gonna you're gonna have those uh, the pattern in inwards. Okay, turn them yeah. to each other. Yeah, to each oh. other. Okay. I'm gonna flip upside down to do this. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mabel. Hi, Brenda. Hi. You must be you. You're gonna be making moss bags for your grandbabies. <laughs> my daughter is expecting in uh, oh at the end God. of August. Yeah, she, little boy. Oh, I was just yeah. saying that. <laughs> A little baby boy. We're gonna have. Oh, this is that's two two mm, little boys yeah, now. Two eh? boys now, yeah. Oh, you're so lucky. I know. And one girl, Lily as well. Oh. I'll have three now. <laughs> three of them. Yeah. Mm. Oh. yeah. I have I have adopted well, adopted grandkids. I think I have I think ten. And then I have two of my biological children. I have two girls. Two granddaughters, two little one one uh, that just turned twenty three, and the other one is gonna be five this summer. They're so sweet. Oh, the younger one is. <laughs> so we call, we uh, sew it all the way around the yeah the curved part. Yeah, you'll from where it's straight, you'll you'll go to the up to the curved part. Okay. And it's going to look like this. See? Okay. Like this one here. Got it. Okay. See, that's what you're looking to, to get that to that point. My crazy allergies. I should have taken my, my, my allergy pill. How do you open where your bobbin goes? There's a little clip on the side. You push it. If it's the same kind of machine oh. as this mine, uh. there's a little clip there. And okay. just follow it on the little cover there. It should be clear. It'll show you how to uh, see. It should look like this. I don't know if you can see it. Mm. It'll show you how to uh, to thread it. Because if you don't thread it properly, it's not gonna. You're gonna jam it. I can't even find it. Okay. The heck kind of machine is this? What kind of machine is it? Do you know? It's a stinger. It's my sister's machine. Okay, here's my machine. It should be, hmm. it's right, right here. On the bottom where the needle is. Okay, let me see. Yeah. There's a little, there's usually a little, okay, I don't know if you can see it. Right here. You'll push it and it'll pop up. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that? This thing. Oh shit. Where the hell did it go? Yeah. You got it. Okay. I should have asked if you, who was the new sewers here? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to just <sighs> on there. It should show you how you, you're, you're to thread it because all, all the machines, they're all different. 
So it might not be the same way I thread this, this machine as opposed to yours. Yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> You're done. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. So if you wanted to uh, to put any kind of ribbons, I didn't put any ribbons in there. I thought, well, this is just you'll know, it'll give you just the 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 gist of how to uh, how to make the the moss bag with what I we put in the package. So if we Let's, wanted to put ribbon on, <clears throat> how far in do we go? Um, I'm looking uh, about, at the velvet piece now. Like two inches, almost an inch and a half, almost two inches you go. From the seam? Yeah, from the seam, the side seam. Okay. From the edge here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to make sure you've got enough room to put, like it'll fold over. And that's where your your uh, your loops are gonna go in. So you don't want to get too close to that edge. So I would suggest about two inches. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to put any kind of uh, of um, of ribbons or material on that edge, that's that's what you want to do with your uh, you sew the your ribbons on first before you sew these two pieces together, your outer shell. Vicky, how's your machine? No. <laughs> you can't I'll get just it sit through. here and listen to you. Oh. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Who is that? Danielle. Danielle. I can't see you, Danielle. Hmm. Okay, on your machine, are you having a, are you having yeah. difficulty with it? Yeah, like I don't know where the thread goes in where and. Okay, um, on your machines, it's gonna have a, um, it'll show you, it's gonna have arrows on it. Every machine has them. Here's your bobbin up here, your, your thread. It'll show you, it usually goes down here. And then, okay, I'm gonna put my, it'll go down on this thing here, on this loop. And then there's a, there's a part in here. My machine opens up so you can see it. Oh, it's kind of, um, yeah, let me turn the light off. See, it'll loop in here. And then it'll loop. You'll there's arrows on your machines. It'll loop underneath here. It'll go up here, and you see this little part up here. It's kind yeah. of rounded. That's where your thread is gonna to loop onto, and then you're gonna bring it back down. And that's where you're gonna bring it down. Okay. You bring it down, and there's a little. Um, okay, on your machine. There's a little hook. You'll see where you can hook your thread right in. It'll, um, it's got kind of a little, let me see. I can get close to it. Yeah, I know what hook you're talking about. Yeah, there's a little loop there. Well, you're gonna loop it through there and then you'll, you'll um, depending on which way the needle is, if it's, if it's, uh, Facing towards you, well, you'll just you'll just thread it through. 
Okay. So there's already in that little box underneath the metal part, there's already yeah. thread in there and it's just okay. loose. It's just loops? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. What you're going to do, uh, pull, pull that string out a little bit. Is it the bobbin full? I think so. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to hold, once you've threaded the needle on top, mm -hmm. Once you've threaded that hole, make sure that there's like a, a tail of, on that on the on the string. Okay, and then your bottom, your bottom thread. Okay, your bobbin here. It's going to show you how to thread it in there and make sure it's kind of long. And then you turn the wheel on the side here. There's a yeah. wheel. Turn it towards you. Turn okay. it towards you. You always turn this wheel towards you. Don't turn it backwards because it, it messes up the timing in your machine. So always, every machine, you always got to turn this wheel towards you. Okay, and then it and then you'll see that that other thread will come up. And then you can cover, you can cover it. Where is it? Okay, and if you have a if you have a little scrap piece of material, you can you can uh, do a few uh, stitches on that material so you make sure that it's yeah. The whole needle can... Now for the corduroy one, do we do it the same way? Yeah, you're gonna do it the same way. But if you want to put ribbon on there, you're more than welcome to. Or if you want to put any kind of other. Uh, um, uh, fancy fabric on there you can do that but if you are going to put any ribbon on there you want to make sure that you're you're going about two inches from the edge because this is going to get folded back so does the corduroy go go inside yeah yeah okay okay but now i have a question okay so you say you just go from the curve around to yeah. The, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, because you that's where they go in. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you said we turn the corduroy one um, into each other and then sew that? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Yeah.
Are you putting lace page? I mean the ribbon? Yep, I'm putting ribbon. Are you? So if you want to beat it, <laughs> that'll take you a little while, but it's still doable. Until it stops? Yep, until it stops. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like once you
I think I did it. Oh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> awesome. Well, the um, the bottom string when I turned the the dial towards me, yeah, it went in the back. So there's two strings in, in the back. Okay, there you go. You got two it. Threads, whatever. All right. So now you want to test it. Put it. Uh, uh, if you have a scrap piece of material, test it on there. One of my um, one of my um, nephews, his wife asked me, "What did you do with the um, our baby's belly button?" And I said, "Well, I put it, I put it in my beads, and then I put it in medicine, and then." Uh, and I said, "Why?" She said, "Cause she's always cleaning up." <laughs> that little girl, she asked her uncle, asked her, "Where do you, what do you want from town?" I'll pick you up something from town. And she said, I want a, a mop and a broom. <laughs> she's, only, she's only like three or four, eh? She wanted a mop and a broom. <laughs> she's, she cleans up all the time, eh? She sweeps. <laughs> it's a little tiny little girl. So yeah. And they and little boys, I think they put their belly buttons in a wood pile too. They put it in a wood pile. So that they're they're good strong workers and um, and what else? I've heard of uh, even putting it in a, in a degree in um in a, someone's their Gokum's degree or something. <laughs> so it can be put anywhere. Yeah. Sometimes they actually like hang them off the ticket noggins too, eh? Like yeah. A little while. Yeah. You yeah. know why they do that? I have no idea because that's a different teachings, but I know I do know that they take them, they they will go and uh bury uh have a ceremony or they'll do a smudge and they'll bury them after so many years that they'll do that. Hey, they'll go put them, they'll give it back to Mother Earth so they'll have that connection to to Mother Earth. And then they used to do that with their um their uh, um, placenta too. Like if you ever look at that placenta, I went to uh, I went and helped my niece one time. She was having her baby. This was a few years ago. She asked me while I was down there, um, and we asked for it. They gave it to us, and that do that doctor they turned it over. It looks like the tree of. I said, hey, the tree of life. Because it looks like a, a tree, eh? And I said, hey, it's the tree of life. And that doctor, she says, yeah. She says, you're not too many people. I've never heard uh, too many people say that, she said. But that's what it looks like. And we asked for it. I told her, you can ask for that. And I told him, we want to take that home. So we took it home. And we, we went and put it in a, in a bush for that little girl, eh? So she's connected to... Uh, to Mother Earth. So there's so many things that, uh, and then if you lose it, they, uh, my sister, well, they, we would just kind of uh, talk about that eh, with family and if you lose it, they, you forget where you put it and there's some little kids that get into everything. <laughs> and they say, ah, oh, you, you lost his poor belly button. He's just getting into everything. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, there was so many different. Well, that was our belief, eh? So, and that's what uh, we would say, eh? Like you, what did you do with your belly button? You, yeah. And then there's some with that like books. 
oh my gosh it just it's just a different blessing that you give that child when you when you uh, when you put it away you put it away for them and a long time ago like when they uh the the woman would make that moss bag um they didn't have babies right away because they used to travel a lot and and our people even had their own uh they had medicine they so that they could they could have like it, it would be a stretch of time when we would have another baby and we had our own birth control there's still there's still women out there that that use that i did my grandmother gave it to me when i was uh um my kids are really spaced apart she she gave me that medicine and well, i asked her for it so she she gave it to me and, and my my children are really spaced quite a quite a ways apart I think my first two are eleven years, almost twelve years apart, and then my next ones are nine years apart. And because of that, it was like when they traveled a lot. Our people traveled uh, all over. Like they would through uh, through the seasons, they had their own camping camps wherever they would they would go to camp, depending on the season and where the food was. And when they were traveling, they they wanted to make sure ensure that that child could walk so they wouldn't have to be carried so so that's when they would they would uh you know think about having another child it was hard on it's hard to have it's it's a gift but it's hard to 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 bring life into this world too sometimes depending on you know our our health and how we how we're living so it's it is it's a it's a beautiful gift when we're able to uh to uh bear those children and have those those babies and we we have to we have to take care of them because they're 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 our future and you know we we uh, want to ensure that they have their they're going on the right step like even uh, the little moccasins they uh when they make their first pair of moccasins too they uh they put a hole there's a little hole i think on the right foot on the top and the left foot there's there's a little hole on the on the bottom and they make that baby look through them just to to give them they'll have a good they'll foresee a good path in their in their future so that's how they do that they they put they cut a little hole in those those first pair of moccasins so that's what they they would do too for for our, our little babies, and and that was really something to to see, yeah. Um, now that we have the two pieces, yeah. Go on. Do we just wait? Uh, you got those two pieces. Yeah, you can even uh iron them open, like what I did here. I sewed this one also. And then I kind of gave it a little bit of a trim, just so that it would curve nice. Like you, you cut, uh, cut it like little V's, and then you open it up and you sew, you iron them, you iron them, them open. Okay, I didn't know we needed an iron. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I should have, uh, I should have gave a list of, uh, in the packages of the things that uh, I was just trying to rush and get it done. <laughs> So no problem <laughs> yeah but yeah you're gonna do that to both pieces or what you can do too if you don't have an iron um you can do a zigzag stitch do a zigzag stitch open it up and do a, a kind of a wide zigzag stitch along the edges along the edges, okay so it opens up the seam okay so, i have an iron i just have to go hook it up oh, i didn't know okay. we needed it right now oh, oh so, okay <laughs> okay i'll go and do that now all right
Am I just ironing the out one, the outside one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, both of them. Oh, both of them. Okay. Yeah, both of them. You want to iron both of them just so that it'll it'll have a flat. It'll when you sew it, it'll be flat. The seams will be flat, and it's easier. It, it sits nicer. So you cut the, the little V's in yep. the top part? Uh, where it's curved. Yeah, where it's curved here. Yeah, yeah. You'll, and, then you'll, you'll, and then you'll iron, you'll iron it down. You'll iron it open. Like these will, will open up. Okay, so after they're open, just iron that down. This, yep. The seam? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because my uh my stitch isn't that wide. It's only about maybe half quarter of an inch okay. at the edge. Okay. Um well then you can probably what you can do is like I said too, you can you can sew it like a, a zigzag stitch right on the to open it up. Just so that it'll lay flat. When we open it, when we flip it inside out, you mean for it to lay flat? Yeah, yeah, it'll kind of lay. Uh, it'll. It won't be. It won't be. It'll kind of have a nice it, curve, eh? It'll. Because uh, mine has like a like a hood shape to it after when I flip it inside out. Okay, well, you need to trim it just a little bit then. Okay. Yeah, just trim it, make it a little V. See how I got it on here? Yep. Yeah. And we do it to both of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, here she is now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my helper. <laughs> I'll go let her in. I'll be right back. I think we lost Vicky. Yeah, she's been gone for a little bit there now. Yeah. I keep she probably gave up. <laughs> I keep looking to see if she's coming back on just in case. <laughs> she sent a message message. Saying that she couldn't get it going and she'll see us at the rattle making. Oh, okay. I see it now. The sewing machine? Yeah, she said, can't get it going. See you at rattles. <laughs> oh, oh, darn. That's darn. the hard thing about virtual, eh? Yeah, those darn machines, if, especially if you're you're kind of new to it. Need to sewing. I know. 
it's it, it can be uh, uh, devastating <laughs> if you can't get it. I know when I first started sewing, it was it, on a machine. It was it was kind of intimidating, but once you get it, it's so easy. It's so easy to do. Here's my my uh, my machine. <laughs> My sewing machine expert here. <laughs> oh, what happened anyway? She had a hard time trying to get it like to, to go. It probably just needed to be adjusted in here. So is that the machine for um, Paige? Uh, no, um Vicky. Vicky is still Okay, is that you? Oh yes it is. Can you see her? Can you yes. see me? <laughs> yes, I can see you. <laughs> Your long lost cousin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, You're not that's lost, my daughter. <laughs> you found, you yeah. found me. <laughs> uh, I'm Gaston's daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is, are you guys doing okay? You're in there? So far. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. To what, what, what part are they doing? They're just starting this part here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got my baby here. <laughs> she really looks real. I found her. Yes. Today. <laughs> but I couldn't get that bottle in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty baby. Oh, that's uh, that's Natalie's little guy. <laughs> oh my goodness, is it growing? Oh, he is. <laughs> that's my baby. Tony. Oh, oh that's Borland. Uh, Borland. I thought I recognized him. He doesn't have a comb with him. <laughs> this one's my baby. He's ten. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that blue. Is nice. Oh, nice. no, that's that uh, that liner. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I want to see them all. What they look like? Huh? Yeah, because they all look like they're good. Oh, he's just <laughs> why? <laughs> he's just making faces. He's entertaining. <laughs> so, Danielle. Danielle. Danielle, she's yeah. not there. Oh, she's sewing. Oh, she's sewing. Yeah, she's sewing. with the uh, Nova. Oh. I see you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, Nova. Yeah. Where are we zooming from? All over. <laughs> All over. <laughs> <laughs> All over the world. <laughs> That's working out pretty good, the Zoom. <laughs> it's just hard to do um, troubleshooting. Yeah, with the machines. Well, yeah. Geez, yeah. I should have gave you my machine. You could have took it with you. Well, I'm good. It's for, just... uh, oh, okay, for a Thursday or something. Hopefully, we can get it figured out. Well, Funny that she to... didn't go see her sister. I know. Pam? It's Pam's machine, eh? She's using Yeah. It's funny she didn't go see Pam. Oh. I'll, I'll message Pam and say, hey, me. Help hey, your sister. Go help your sister. She needs your help. I went to go pick up eggs today and, and I went to get change and she was sitting looking so lonely. Oh. <laughs> Listen, put her in the car seat. Yeah, with you. I brought her home with me. I said, oh my God, you look like you need a moss bag. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. <laughs> She's really good soft one. too, her legs too, and her body. Yeah, it's like a cabbage. Is yeah. that a cabbage? No, oh, it's, not a, a, it's not a cabbage. It's a softy baby. Yeah. So now yeah. that we cut, okay, I've cut my, my little Vs. Yeah. Then you'll now, iron them open. Oh, do I iron it all the way down? Open? Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Did anybody do the ribbon? Yeah, she some oh. of them are putting ribbons. Oh, right on. Good for them. Yeah. That's awesome. This is the one that uh, was in our packages for yeah. a while ago. I thought I finished Try it like this. Yeah. So then we put the big long string in first or um, this way up. Well, 
we usually have to do the, the long one starts from from down here. Oh, and then you work, and then your, way you work your way up, you go through. Yeah, all the sides. Yep. And this is the short one after. Let's see. No, the long one. Okay. Yeah. Brenda. Uh huh. So I yeah. could sew my outer piece together? Yep. Okay. Yep. So those two pieces will go. Like, like this, say eh? your outer pieces are going to be on the outside, inside, inside, out. inside out. And you want to make sure that you leave a gap open. Um, so you can turn it inside out. Yeah, so you can turn it inside out. Down here? Yeah, leave it open in between here, like about that much, so you can flip it, flip it around. Yeah, turn it inside out. Yeah, you can turn it right side out. And and these you're gonna on the corners you're gonna you're gonna cut them on the edges where the pointy edges are so that it, it'll it'll lay flat on both sides you'll do that you'll cut it on this side and that side so just um, give it about a few inches eh so you'll have enough room let me see about ten inches yeah about eight to ten inches leave it open. Just so you know. Yeah, you make sure you back stitch it on both sides so it doesn't come apart. You back stitch on both sides and you're just gonna sew right around the whole opening. The whole opening so that it that it'll be closed. So that's what you're gonna do with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, put it. Oh, no? yeah. <laughs> He's gonna watch us. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fun. <laughs> I know she looks so so real. That baby, I had to get away. I thought, oh my god, she looks like a real baby. <laughs> so did they get all the canvas? Yeah, 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 they did that part already. And then I got them to open like that song. Yeah. So let's see. Like this one in here right? like this? No. Oh, okay. yeah. So it gets flipped around. If you get all this part. Yeah. Are we, you said for sewing it like, so for the edges, are we putting bias tape or is like? No, no, we're gonna, I mean, we, we've got, we've got string. Uh, there should be a package in your package. You should have leather in there because we're going to make it like uh, like this moss bag here with the baby in it. We're going to do like looping it. We're going to loop it along the edging of your. Uh, but that's you what, see like it's fraying. So are we hemming it or something? Now you're going to turn that inside out. That'll be turned inside out anyway. You're not going to have to worry about that. Oh, yeah, because we're sewing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So I just uh, put that other thing about the bonnets. Yeah, we didn't get to the bonnets yet. Probably next time we'll do the bonnets. I got some velvet here. We could try to some velvet. Yeah. But I mean, some of the things are okay. Oh, we didn't need this thing. Yeah. Yeah. I know because I made, uh, I made, I think, a couple of mass bags on my machine. Like I did those roses. Mm -hmm. I did roses on the little girl's name was Purple Rose. Can you show Gillen picture? Yeah, I showed them when we were doing them. I can't wait right there. Yeah. You, got, you got the baby in Yeah. Yeah. But he looks cute in there. He can use only a day or a day in that picture. I'm not sure they're in a small bag. Yeah, we have to fold it. Oh, we have to fold it. Fold it in. Like this one is folded in too. 
go down and end up with forty five. So he stayed again, I don't know, I think it was probably about <laughs> two years. He was on north. His dad had a big thing on the bus. He didn't know. He didn't say that. He had a big thing. But this is not, what is this day? Was it gone and traveled or it went on to uh, another? So one of uh, uh, one of my, my nephews. Is that Pan Pan High? Yep. See, that's the design. Same design, right? Eh? Yeah, same design. Similar. Yeah. She kind of changed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that was the, the one my grandmother made for me. This is the replica of the all oh, okay. So you can actually look at it. Yeah. Like a picture. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, maybe go back. My sister, I don't know how many mouse traps she made. Like, no, I'm no, I'm the same field. No, I'm the same field. Hi, Cookie. Huh? Hi, Cookie. How are you, hon? I'm doing okay. Good. It's Mabel. Hi, hi right. Mabel. Oh. <laughs> I see your picture real quick. Oh, there. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so how are you working on yours? How's it coming? Uh, well, um, I sewed the the two pieces together. Um, okay. And then came all the way down to the end. And then my corduroy as well. <clears throat> And now I can't, my bobbin ran out. I reloaded my bobbin with thread. Yep. And now I can't get it to clip into the, the casing at the bottom there. I can't get it to stay in there. Oh, okay. When you're, you're, you're threading it the way it shows you, do you have a picture on your, on your, your machine? Yeah. Just pop that one off here. It's the bobbin casing. It won't, like it has a little thing that flips out to, and then it would lock in. It doesn't want to lock in. Okay, so you're following your picture like this, right? Mm hmm With this bobbin case, and you're doing your thread right, eh? It's holding in right? I think so. I'm going to double check that one then. Because you're, you're putting your bobbin in, and the thread is coming over, and it's going to catch that little hook. Yeah. And is it a steel bobbin case? Yeah. Okay, and then you're going to slide it in your bobbin case there. Just hold okay. that handle so it locks. And then you're going to put it in so that that foot slides in that casing holder. Okay, I'm going to try it again. You know what I mean? That little foot that sticks out, it should slide into that little hook and then let go of that spring. I turn my, my um, wheel on the Towards side toward yeah. me. Yeah. So it will go under and then I usually use my scissor and I pull my my bobbin thread out with with you know what I mean? Yeah, so the case and is in there one, good. Hey Mabel, the um, case is in good. It's holding no, in. That's there. what I'm saying. I can't get the case in proper. And then when I turn my my needle towards me, it goes down and then it wants to make my bobbin fall out. Like okay. the whole casing fall out. It's yeah, your casing's not is, yeah, your casing's not locking in right. You have to kind of slide that casing around till you find that arm that fits in there. It'll okay. fit into the casing, like where it's holding that case. Okay. There's a little arm that sticks out, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. It kind of like goes like that. It's got to fit in that other case that's on the other side. It's got to go around it and, there, and it stays in there. It locks it in. Okay, I'm going to try it again. I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, I'll try it again, see if it if I can get it to do that. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, I hope it works. That's an easy fix. Mm -hmm. Of your machine's different. It's a side loader. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I put that? Oh. This thing. Oh. Cost you seven bucks to get another one. And I don't know if I'd be able to find one. Because I got it online, this machine. Hey, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I put both of my pieces like inside each other. Yeah. Inside out. Yeah. Okay. So you'll have them, okay, kind of like this. They'll be fit. The, they'll be. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Inside out. Yeah. So I put like the pattern I'm using and the soft material yep. together. Yeah, inside. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Don't forget about the corners. Yeah. Well, even after it's done, it's a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, I have to fix this maybe. Eight strawberries here. Yeah, we're doing 120 here. Holy shit. Down the highway. I'm probably more than the sun is going to be chasing. So, all the days. What did you do yesterday? This is going to be nice though when this is done. Yeah. Little sharp something. I'm going to have to get on. Can I cut my corners right now? No, not till after you're done sewing. Okay. We're supposed to cut our corners? <laughs> after it's sewing. After, after it's sewn. <laughs> Where am I cutting? Once you've, you've sewn this part, this part here. The bottom of the hat on the yeah. corners. How do I cut it? Just like this. On an angle. On an angle. Okay. I'm going to unravel it then. <laughs> I yeah, started no. turning it already. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So that makes sense. Because yeah. I always wondered why my moss bags would always be funny in the corner. Now yeah. I know. So, yeah. Now you got to, you just got to cut that, that uh, tip. Well, you can't even see me. Sorry. So right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You gotta cut it like this. Yeah, cut it. Yep. Close to After the face. close to the close to the seam. You'll do both sides. Ever scary? I, mean, I scary. know, I know, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Exciting scary. Okay. So you'll do both sides and then you'll turn it around. And then turn it around. You can turn it around. Yeah. yeah. Inside right. Okay. Got it. Okay. So you get the corner thing already. Yeah. I didn't, need, I didn't cut this one because I went too close to the seam. Oh, okay. So it's still kind of uh, it probably won't matter. No, I don't think so. Did they go canvas too? Yeah, some of them. No, I didn't. I used that other stuff. I found a oh, scrap right. piece. Right on. Okay, so you can see there. Your leather pieces and your moss bag, you want to make sure, like, they're, it's pretty thick uh, hide. So if you have a, a nice sharp scissors, you can straighten it out, make it a little thinner too. It's quite thick, so you'll be able to uh, trim it down. Usually you use uh, deer, but this one is moose and it's really, it's really strong, strong. This is not strong for the lip loops. Yeah, this is for the shorter edge, but you, they can be trimmed anyway. Okay. Yeah, this is for the shorter edge. I see why she got scared. Yeah. I know it's really thick. I don't have any gear either. Well, I went and bought a gear and then we cut it too narrow and then I went to pull it. Oh, yeah, you have that happen many times too. It's okay. Now you just have to trim it a little bit in some spots. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's doable. You don't need any scrap pieces for your hide or uh, teepees. <laughs> 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 I turned off the heat. I put it in here. In here. Oh my god, I was 
regret it now. I just did freezing. <laughs> Your propane. <laughs> yeah, I put it on. And I ah, oh, just leave it. I'll be okay. This room. I got lots of sweaters in there. Use your electric at night. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. You're gonna put it on tonight. Yeah, it's supposed to be cold, right? Eh? Well, it's minus three. It's not really too cold, but it's cold enough. Yeah, I get your house chilly. I've plugged up the back pipe too. It's not so cold now. I forgot about it. Is it open in the back? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, no! Yeah. I can't do the furnace. Just as well. Uh, we're not supposed to do it, but I said I would suggest you do this. Just make sure you pull it out when you're lighting it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I've got the two uh, seams ironed down. Now okay. what do I do? Okay, so now you're going to uh, put your two pieces together. See how these ones are? Okay. You're going to put those two facing one another and you're going to hook it up like that. So all the way down and around. So like, like leave an, an opening here. You're going to back stitch it right around here on both sides. So your seams don't come apart. You're going to sew right around the whole thing. If you have oh. pins, you can put pins on there. And you're going to sew right around the whole thing. So the other okay, side. so the corduroy part goes where? Face, uh, face it with the, the flannel part. The soft flannel and the corduroy, the top part of the corduroy, they're going to okay. be facing, it's going to face your flannel, the soft part of your, your flannel. Those two pieces will be facing together. So the corduroy and the flannel part will be facing each other. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and your seams will be on the outer, on the outer side. Okay. On the outside. So we're just kind of sewing it together, and then going to flip it inside out after then. Yes, definitely. Okay, so we sew the two sides. Yeah, and leave the bottom open. No, you're going to sew it right around, and you're going to leave this. Where there's it's straight, you're gonna leave yeah. it open. You're gonna leave it open, so that's where you're gonna you're gonna turn it right side out. Yeah. So after you'll stick your hand in there and pull it yeah. out inside right after. Yeah. But before, okay, got it. But before you do, you turn it inside right side out. You after you're done sewing, you want to cut the edges, the corners off. These these corners right here, you're gonna you're okay gonna flip them both sides. So when you cut you your do corners, what do you do? Sew them back together or what? Pardon me? When you cut your corners, do you sew them back together or just leave them open? The corners, you're not going to cut it where it's open. If you're just cutting that, that corner off, like you're not cutting the, the seam. Oh. You're just cutting it open. So when you turn it around, it'll lay flat. Okay. Yeah, it'll so lay flat because you don't want it to be bulky on those corners. So we'd start probably about an inch from the bottom then. So we can cut a corner off. Is that what you're saying? Uh, half about half an inch. Go about half an inch. Okay. Right around. Right around the whole moss bag. Yeah. Right here. Uh, and then back up the other way. And then leave it, like we said, we leave it open. Leave an opening. Like in between here. Put two pins there so you know where to stop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm wondering what's wrong here. Oh, no, it is supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah. Duh. You're going to sew that down. Too. Yeah. Okay. Next time. Let's see how it goes. No, no. Concentrate on this part. I think it's two and two and a half, two and a half inches apart. That's the, the length of the string. These ones are a little bit close down there. Yes. Okay. That's a turn around, right? 
turn around and type verse 12. <laughs> the magic number is 12. <laughs> two, two and a half inches apart. So you get down to the bottom, start from the top. Okay. So now that I flipped it inside out, yeah. um, how do I sew that the rest closed? You're like gonna, you're gonna fold it and you're gonna iron it. Okay. So it'll be flat, and then you can iron the whole the whole piece. You know, and then I just sew it on top after. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna sew it on top, or you can sew it right around top stitch. You'll do a top stitch right around. So. <laughs> this one right here. Yeah. Can't really see it, but this one has a top stitch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See better on the other. Can you see this one in the in the camera here? How it's top stitched after? Oh yeah. Just here? Yeah. Looks good. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hard to see. You, know, you know what they do too? They sew a piece of leather in there. That's what it feels like something's in there. Yeah. Like my sister, you can do that too. My sister used to do that because they, it keeps that body in. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna start to waste on the other side of this bump. Yeah. Well, that think. makes sense. Yeah. And this is the corner done the same way. Yeah. Yep, same way. The same way too? Yeah. Now I see where you are. Uh, you just poked holes in there. Yeah, I just poked holes in there. And I used uh, that all. So that's all they would have yeah. done before anyway. Yeah. <coughs> that, that's what they would have used. So you just used them all. Yep. Yeah. You just took a whole, our whole punches and you just punched the holes. Yeah, or you, so the, yeah, the widest can, punch. Yeah. Oh, I do have a hole punch here. So. It looks like the widest one. Probably this. So why we couldn't just go there? <laughs> no, 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 we should go. It's just so soon. much fun when you have a whole bunch of quirk. Hey, Nova. So you said after you stitch it close, well, iron it around, stitch it close, and you could do a stitch all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, like a top stitch, kind of yeah. like hers here on this yellow. It's oh, just top stitch yeah. there all the way around. You just do it right around the whole, the whole thing. The yeah. whole thing. So do that next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wonder, oh, Danielle's gone. I, was gonna say, I know she said, she wrote in the chat, trying to find somebody to help with my machine. Oh, darn. You know. <laughs> you recommend that I sew all the way around? Pardon me? Would you recommend that I sew all the way around? All yeah. the way around. Top stitch all the way yeah. around. Zigzag? Yeah. Uh, just top stitch. Just a good. top stitch. You'll just stitch it right around the whole the whole thing, the whole uh, moss bag. Yeah, okay. all the way down. 
I would say that's about uh, whatever. Inch. Yeah, probably about a quarter. Almost a half inch. Eh? About a quarter of an inch. Yeah, it's about a quarter of an inch. Top stitched three eighths. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll finish this one. Um, That'll help when you go to do your uh, your holes after. Yeah. It'll be on the other side of your top stitch. Yeah. So that's, that'd be good. I wish I was going to go over there and help them with the machine now. Yeah. Machine. That was crazy when you're doing stuff. So it's about an inch away from the edge. And then you start your your one and a half, your two and a half. You always have to follow the top stitch anyway. Yeah. On the other side. Yeah. Pretty much. You just have to do one side, make it mark, and mark then the other side. And then the other side will be marked. And you can even put pins on the other side. Mark it. Yeah. Put your pin in there. Mark it. Put your pin. Yeah. So did they have all that deer hide, deer hide ball? Uh, no, we I cut them. Uh, I cut them too long, so they um, can they can trim it if it's too long. I made sure it was long. Oh, I thought they were half the deer. That was deer. the one I was. I was no, no. They, they did it all the time. It happened. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Like some of them I did. Uh, have, I had them thick. I told them make them thick. Where did you take them? I got it from the Aldi. 75 bucks for that bag. Yeah, I bought uh, one was $118 and the other one was $100. Mm. 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 Yeah. Do you sew a line right down the middle? I remember you saying that one. Yeah, yeah, you could do that too. You could put the you can in this on this part here in the center there, you can even do a, a line right there. Right in the, the middle? Way. Or did you yeah. do two down the side? Um or just go I just sewed, yeah, I just did a zigzag. On the back? Some of them I would, yeah, I would do a big zigzag in the in the center there. After it comes, yeah, after it, after you've done the, did you do a top stitch on it already? Yep. Yeah, yeah, you can you can do another stitch right in there too. It just gives it stability when you when you do that extra. Yeah, and it keeps it together. Look at that one because they're turned inside out. Yeah. Now they're, they're working on this side now. Yeah. So, am I going to make it this way? I'd have to pin it all, eh? Uh -huh. It's going to go this way. Well, this one is, this one is, uh, it's just hard to see. This yeah, it is kind of. It's easier to see this. Not like that. Yeah. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have any other moss bags. Cut out. I'm working really quick. I don't want you to know that. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Well, I know. <laughs> I know. They were, we're, we're making uh -huh. template each, but we. We got two carried away. <laughs> you need almost two and a half meters for each of the of the flannel. Yeah, for one. Two and a half meters of each. Two, two and a half meters. Because you're gonna put the bonnet too. You got another yeah. piece. Yeah. So now you wanted to do zigzag down this one. Yeah. After you yeah. turn it around, eh? Yeah. Because it just makes it really nice and sturdy. So would they iron that first? Yeah, I, I did get them to, I told them to iron it. 
I'm gonna iron this one open too. Yeah. And I'm gonna stick it down so it'll stay more together. Yeah. That's why you're gonna keep doing that. Yeah. Oh man, you even match the pattern like right there. Yeah. Okay. Ever sick, eh? <laughs> oh, you're going back. <laughs> so this would be turned inside out anyways, because you wouldn't yeah. see this. Yeah. This would be all together. Yeah. Theirs is sewn, so they, they don't have that. Yeah. They got it they got it together. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to make it thick, but how can you make it really thick? Because just the way that it, just the way that I, this one, I should have sewed it a little more uh, in. Because it's really very close to the edge. Oh, this part here? Yeah. So that's what makes the difference here? Yeah. Just yeah. that little bit? Just that little bit. So does that mean you have to undo it? Yeah, I'm going to have to undo it. Can we undo it? Sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm sitting there. Why yeah. so we'll undo this? We're going to start over. Jack. That one should be good. I need, I need Jack. That's, that's what that, just that little thing. That's all. Take. Okay. That's, that's it. Oh. I will have to get ready for next class. Okay, I'm done. Looks good. Oh, 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 yeah. That's good. But I realized my pattern's upside down, but it still looks good. <laughs> All right, right on. <laughs> uh, the other side. Oh, there's that. Okay. Oh, hey. So you got a leather strip. You want to yeah. narrow it down. Did she There's sew it, two it of them. together? Did she sew it a zigzag around? Uh, oh, uh, on the on the rib of it, we're going to put a zigzag stitch uh, right in here in the center. Okay. You're, you're going to top stitch zigzag. Yeah, you're going to top stitch it a zigzag. So you're going to keep it all together so it doesn't yeah. get messed okay. up on you. Yeah. And then you said split this in half? Uh, no, just just thin it out, thin it out, or, or straighten it out. Yeah, because some of okay, them I... I, have I uh, pieces, right? Pardon me? I have two yeah. pieces. Yeah, you're going to do both of them. So you just want me to fix it? Yeah, just fix it, because I had okay. gotten it cut. I got one of the... Uh, how do I fix the bottom now that I pulled it through? You're going to top stitch it together. What the heck is a top stitch? Just, just a second. Let yep. Let me show you. So you, is this the part you're talking about that you left open here at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to fold. Did you cut your edges? Your corners? The, the corners? Yep. Okay. Then you're going to turn it around. Turn it. Oh, right. no, I didn't. Cut, no, I didn't cut those corners. No. Yeah. You cut those edges. Your, your corners. Oh, there. yeah. I did those. Yeah. Both sides. Yep. Okay. Now flip it around. Inside out. Yeah, it's it, I, I got it the right way now. Okay, and then do that opening. You want to iron yeah. it down. You want to iron it, even it out, and iron it down. So try and fold it in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both sides. Both sides. So it's it's you iron it down, and, and then. And then you're gonna stitch it right around the whole the whole moss bag, right around. You're gonna do a top stitch. That's what your top stitch is. It's just a straight stitch. We'll hold it all together after. Okay, so for um, the two meet. That's what you're talking about, is, is stitching it all. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. 
This one's done all the way around. And it goes all the way down the whole body. The top stitch all the way around and back up. Okay. Now uh, uh -huh. just give me a give me a few minutes. I'm not uh, okay. That not good on the sewing machine. That's okay. Take your time. Yeah, it's not a race. I'm not racing. Well, how are you doing? Mabel? I'm here. <laughs> I have did you get it working? I did. Nice. Look I, at that. I had to take a little bit of a break there and then go yeah. back and see what the heck I was doing wrong. So oh, I okay. have it sewn. I just, I'm at where Sally, I just trim my corners. Yeah. And I'm going to do my, my stitch all the way around now. Yeah. Well, did you iron yeah. it? Did no, you iron that piece? Yeah. Just yeah. iron it. So it's nice and neat. Nice, nice and neat. And then you can do your top stitch. Yeah. There's going to be the top stitch. To be nice honest. Yeah. I don't have any clothes that I iron ever. So I don't have an iron here. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Put if I there. need to do that, I throw it in the dryer for 10 minutes. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out. <laughs> you can pin it. Yeah, you, yeah, you can pin it. <laughs> okay, I'll we'll do that. <laughs> I missed um uh, so I sewed like the back zigzag. Yeah, but I missed the seam. Does this look silly? look no, no it's just no. to hold it together it's just to hold it together as long as you can but i see... notice okay well if you if you want to take it apart <laughs> you don't have to you nobody's have to gonna look it. that close <laughs> okay so my question is now i have a really thick piece of leather and a really thin piece of leather that is the thin like, piece shorter the shorter one is the thin one yeah Okay, well, you want to thin it out. Make sure that it's nice and strong. You're gonna, you're gonna trim it. You're gonna trim it because this is mousse. This okay. one is a mousse hide. So. so the thick one, the thick long yeah. one is for the lacing. Yeah, both of them are. But there's one that's like almost. I just double. made it. I just made it uh, long enough. You might be. You you probably trim it down, but I just wanted to make sure it was long enough for the for the lacing. So this shorter one is the one that i'm using next are uh, you both of them you're going to be using so you just want to trim them so that they're nice and and straight and and um even. and even okay oakley dokley okay <laughs> How thin does it be? Just as long as it's straightened. Uh, yeah, just as long as it's straightened and, and it's not gonna break when you um, pull when it. you pull it. You just okay. keeps stretching it to make sure that it's uh, it's not gonna break. Okay. It's pretty it's pretty tough uh, hide moose hide. Okay. That's what I used on that one. That moose hide. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's the thickness is good. It's just you have to make sure it's kind of straight. Yeah. I think it's not going to matter too much after you use it a few times. Yeah. It's going to be pretty much straightened out after. Oh, yeah. oh I was telling my sister I got a doll. She says, I got an Indian baby. I'll send it to you. And she's just like, <laughs> Hi, an Indian baby. Yeah. It's got really long hair. Oh. <laughs> Already. Mm -hmm. This baby in a moss bag will have braids. Coke him in the moss bag. <laughs> oh, that's an old spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways. <laughs> oh my goodness, anyway. I finally found her. I was just I just pulled up. I went to go get braids. I warned her there this morning. I ordered, I ordered eggs. She says last time I went there, she didn't have one for me. Oh. She says you gotta call. 
substance. Oh. We'll reserve something. We'll keep something. Okay. Right then. I'm ready then. So I want to pick them up this morning. And she, she had the uh, shit. I got four dozen. I was going to get four and then she's, she's going to get changed. She said, well, if you have another dozen, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. She says, okay, well, I'll take another. Pickle legs. Yeah, <laughs> I'll make some pickle legs. Now. Check it out. I think I saved it. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. I put the uh, Rick Rack. Oh, oh good right. idea. There you go. <laughs> good. Rick Rack saves everything. I know, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you were meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, a new design. Hi. 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 Hi there. Hi. Are you sewing too? <laughs> yeah, I'm helping mommy. I'm yeah. helping mommy. <laughs> oh, cute them little guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh no, Orlin, are you going to count for us? <laughs> we heard you're a good counter. Yeah. Hi, Orlin. Can you count? count. Can you count? Ready? No, oh, but one, two, one, two, three. Oh, Jesus. Oh, baby, two, three. Six. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, <laughs> <laughs> one little ducky. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Brenda. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Auntie. Auntie. Hi. 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 No? Okay. He's gone. Oh, look at Nova's hair is getting long. Yeah. It's really long. Yeah. Hi, Auntie. Yeah, it looks nice. It would have been really long if I didn't cut it. Oh, it'll it'll get long. <laughs> <laughs> don't regret it. Oh. It's gonna grow fast anyways. The summer's yeah. coming. <laughs> yeah. Just put some bear grease on there on his hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. did you? <laughs> No, I'm going to. All right. <laughs> so you said I just fix it. I don't make yeah. two, right? Yeah. Okay. No, you just fix it. Just kind of straighten it out. Thin it out a little bit. Because it was a whole moose hide, eh? And, and um, I did a workshop and I said, well, let me, I'd like the rest of the hide. And she said, sure. So, but he cut it all up. So I got to keep that ball of, um, of lace. So that's how we cut it. I got this guy to cut the, a whole moose hide. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if it was that big. It wasn't that big, but, but he cut it all up for me. It was the guy that cut it. So it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it's hard to cut too if you don't have the proper scissors. Yeah, you have really sharp scissors. Oh yeah, for sure. I thought you bought one of those heavy duty ones. I did. I think I did. It's a steel handle, not like that. This is the light duty. Yeah, the one with the all. It, it, it feels one. like this. I do have one. They're really expensive. They're about seventy dollars. Oh God, no! I didn't buy that kind. I thought you did. No, I bought a different kind. I don't know where I put that one. Oh, there's one that's red and black. That's the yeah. one that's like in between yeah. that heavy duty and the light. Yeah, I got like the red. And, I got the red and black one. Yeah, yes. that's the one I have too. I have that one. As a matter of fact, somebody's borrowing it because they're working on a vest. Oh. And uh, I don't know. I haven't heard from her. Yeah. I don't know how she made out. Because <clears throat> it's a really nice man's vest. Oh. My cousin's vest, and she was doing the lacing. Yeah. I'm trying to help her with the lacing. But she, 
kind of as if somebody messed up on the whole speech pattern in her promotion. Uh, uh, I don't know how to do it. You gotta watch when you're cutting the holes, eh? Well, that's why you have that tracer? That tracer wheel? Mm hmm. I started that a couple of months in the wintertime before pandemic or before it got, yeah, it was in the fall. My aunt used to do vests. That was her thing. Hey, Brenda, do you know how to make star blankets? Or Audrey? Uh, I um, wanted to get to learn it. It's uh, a lot of little pieces. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lady here, uh, Dawn Coochie's wife. But I guess they can't really do any interaction right now. Yeah. Uh, that Mike from uh, that sewing place in, well, he's got a place in Sudbury too. Mr. Mike, he does star blankets too. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not a quilter. I, I made one a long, long time ago. That was the first and last hey, time. Mary Lynn must know how to do those quilts. Uh, this is my I think thing. she knows how to do star blankets. I think she just knows how to do like quilting. Her sister-in-law knows how. She's a quilting master. Donna Cucci. Donna Cucci. And that's Mike Cucci's wife? No, his. that's her brother, her oldest brother, Don Cucci. That's his wife, Donna. Oh, Don and Donna. They live in Jocko Point. Cool. Okay. My, my sister knows how. My, other, my younger sister, she was doing star blankets. But we're trying I, to find somebody to teach us like um just baby star blanket quilts you know yeah well that would be yeah. something up her alley for sure yeah cool um what i'm thinking remember i was talking to you about the teepee one yeah so every year we get funding through a cultural camp initiative and yeah. that's why i paid for all the high or the hide uh, yeah the hide scraping workshop last year yeah so I'm wondering if we do a teepee workshop this year. Yeah. And then, yeah. like, because yeah. I, I remember you were talking about how in your community they do like uh, little 12 foot teepees for the, yeah. for the homes. Yeah. I was like, oh, that would be really cool if we did something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so, and then at least they're manageable. They're not big trying to move it yeah, around. And I know. Yeah. And you know what? You can Smoker actually ones. get you can actually get uh, about five six people in there well not, not real big people but you can get quite a few people in there just to sit around that, that 12 footer yeah they're nice they're probably really easy to to pitch up to mm -hmm. yeah. definitely because yeah. yeah. your poles wouldn't have to be that big they would only be like what 16 foot poles <laughs> yeah so. yeah they wouldn't have to be the humongous poles yeah and then I was thinking if we did one like at the same time and made an 18 foot one for the community, because I think we need a new one for the museum. Yeah. That yeah. one's pretty, that was sure. old. No one was really taking care of it. So yeah. need a new one there. But then I was like, oh, then we could have um, yeah. people who wanted to make their own for their, for their house. If it was just for fires or if they want to do learn how to smoke things you know things like yeah, that yeah exactly that would work yeah just you just have to order your your canvas uh way ahead of time i just don't just... know where do i order canvas and how much do i need that's where i would need your expertise uh, okay well i'll i'll let you know how much I got to get some measurements from my daughter because that's what she's doing right now. She's making all kinds of teepees back home. I know. And I see her posts. <laughs> yeah. Did we? She said that's her 10th, mm -hmm. what, 10th? 10th or something from since last year. Yeah. She's making that's a lot of teepees. Days. She's yeah. got a really good machine. Yeah, she's got a real nice machine. Mm. Double needle stitcher. Yeah. Wow. Industrial. Cool. Yeah. So 
okay so yeah if, well if you can let me know how much it would cost like estimate for 112 foot so then it gives me an idea of how many homes okay. i can actually cover okay i'll write that down now for the the leather the moose hide did she, what did she say about it you're gonna just brown you're just gonna trim it so it's nice and even Oh, okay, because I have two pieces. Yep, you're going to even out the two pieces. Yeah, you're going to need both of them. Okay. Yeah, one smaller than the other. Yep. Is that the way yep. it's supposed to be? Yeah. Okay. I got to go get my leather scissors. You're good at Sally. She's starting to have a little sewing kit going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Remember at one time, Sally, you're like, never am I going to sew. Me. <laughs> Here you are with a sewing kit now. Yeah. And it starts off small. Yeah. And next, you know, the you first gotta... time I did was the regalia for Cole. Cole was what, maybe four, five? Yeah, he was just little. Aww. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much the last time I touched my sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do a skirt with us? I thought you did. Yes, yes, I did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but that's pretty much the last time. I got you sewing. I got you making your sewing <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay, my leathers are good. Okay. So well, you're gonna need a you're gonna need a ruler. Are we going till nine or are we stopping at eight? Oh uh, we oh. could stop. Because we're at eight now. Okay. So I'm not sure unless people want to keep going till nine. I'm pretty tapped out. <laughs> okay all right <laughs> well we could we could uh continue next on thursday because then everybody would probably be pretty caught up to the same spot okay all right and yeah just make ensure that you have your like you need an awl you'll need a ruler and and um probably a marker or something that you can mark the, your a the hole punch if you've got a hole punch also because you're gonna need the hole punch to go through those those layers of material. Okay. Yeah. So, because you're gonna be putting them through your moss. Or mat. Yeah. <laughs> I get up at five thirty every day. Oh geez. Holy that's, Christ! That's a long day. <laughs> two little ones. Two kids ready. <laughs> yeah. I remember those days. Yeah. Mama days. <laughs> Okay, so by Thursday, have our leather straightened out, ready to go. Make yeah. sure that everything's sewn around, like our top stitch. Yeah. And then have all our tools for the next part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you'll need your. What I did with. What I did with mine was like a like a zigzag. Was that okay when I yeah. went around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. And don't forget around the the hat part, bottom part. What hat part? You got, what little, hat? you got a little hat in there too. But, but, but I mean, stitching, week, right? She stitched this part? Yeah. Sally? Did. I mean, next week. Yeah, I did the, the big part. I didn't know we had to do this hat part. No, around the back side of the moss bag. I didn't know if you put a stitch there to put the two pieces together. Huh? So it's kind of tacking the pieces together. Okay, look at Natalie's. And Paige. You see, yeah. Natalie, she's got where the seam is. The seam yeah. yeah, yeah, we're gonna stitch those pieces down together all the way the in the middle, I yep. put a stitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all the way. So we in can the middle hold. of the yes, yes, okay. So those pieces won't fly around apart, they'll, yeah. they'll join. Okay, so, so I'm happy be going around this, yeah, where yep. the seam is, yep, yeah. Yeah, or, or, or I'm it. opening it and going straight down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you'll be yeah. sewing in your machine like this. Yeah. So down the seam. Yep, right yeah. down the seam. Yeah, right down yeah. the seam. One big line. Just to hold okay. everything together. Okay, so that's the only, okay. So nothing to do with that little pillow part right now. Okay. No. Okay. No. That's for okay. Thursday. <laughs> yeah, that's for Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Thursday? Thursday. Okay. 
Thursday, same time, same. nine o'clock. Same time. Oh, six o'clock. Six, six, six o'clock. <laughs> you say nine, dude. Yeah, I said nine. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'm being bad by then. Yeah. Natalie, Natalie be crushed out. Oh, yeah. Natalie won't even make it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, ladies. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. It was fun. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, okay. See you Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. All right. Good night, Get people. Sleep. Yeah. Uh, good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. Hi. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I recorded the session so I could share it too if you need to go back on things. Okay. okay. Right don't on. Put it, please Bye. don't put it on Facebook. <laughs> no, it won't go on Facebook. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Put it on my private okay. YouTube. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right on. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.